Hello there, my name is Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky and today I want to have a look at the different ways that we can get text into a document to do markdown. And the reason I started looking at this in the first place is because someone was saying that they were making a shortcut to do this job. Here is the shortcut. I've changed it a little bit. I've taken out some of the variable things that they were using, but uh, this is pretty much the same sort of thing. And we didn't leave the notification at the end of it either. But what this does is that it's going to get whatever is from the share sheet or the quick actions. If there's no input, it's going to get the clipboard and it's going to put this text in there, which is the text we need for the markdown image. And the shortcut input is going to go in there and then it's going to copy this text to the clipboard. And I've got the setup to run with a either the services menu with quick action or to run with a keyboard shortcut which is the control option command and full stop. Okay so that's uh, one way of doing it. Another way to do this would be to use the keyboard uh, system shortcuts and we go into this one here in the uh, system preferences go to text on the keyboard tab. What I want here is to get it to replace the exclamation mark I and put this one in here so that's a possibility there and then the possibility is the uh, keyboard maestro and I've got this set up so that's what it's going to do is if I type in I I it's going to do this with it. it's going to put in the uh, stuff that I need for the markdown and it's going to put the system clipboard in there so I have to make sure that I've got the URL for the image in the system clipboard already Another way to do this would be to use Alfred and within Alfred what you can do is you can use the sort of snippets. So with snippets what you do is you use the um, hotkey to bring this up or you can use the keyboard to bring this up and then what you can do is to start looking for MD image and the keyboard there is um, MDI. He's going to put it in there with the exclamation mark, two square brackets and then whatever's in the clipboard inside the round brackets. That's another way of doing it. Another thing I actually sort of forgot there, but there's another possibility is to use uh, Text Expander. So let's open Text Expander. The abbreviation is semicolon, semicolon, P, uh, P for picture, and it's going to put whatever's in the clipboard in this section of text in here. So that's another way of doing it. We have loads of different ways of doing it. Let's start with Text Expander and get the one out of the way. So let's go into Drafts. Let's first of all put this URL into the clipboard. So let's do a copy of that there. And there you go, it's put the text in there and this is going to give us our image in the document. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a markdown preview of this document. So double click on this one here. And we see that we've got the image at the bottom there, so that's cool. Let's go into the Alfred one and with Alfred we're going to start looking for the uh, snippets. So I'm going to get this one here, I'm going to start with Alfred. And find snippets. I've just got to type in the letter M and that starts bringing the, the possibilities there. And MD image is the one that I'm looking for. Press on enter and I've got the image back in there again. Look, so that is correct. And again, if I go to the preview, it's going to bring that up and the image is at the bottom there. So we keep with Maestro. I set this up so it goes in with a string typed II. Um, quite like this one, it's quite fast to use. And that's put that in there for me. Okay, so in this. Keyboard Maestro, I've got a set of keyboard Maestro actions for Markdown. And this one here, Image, this is one that I can use within this document here. So I do the keyboard uh, typed in string, MDI. And then what I do here is I put in the alt text in here. So let's put uh, just test for the moment. Okay, so that's the image URL. And also, we can have a title in this here as well. So uh, let's put uh, Hello World in there and click on OK. And you see what's happened there is that it's put it in there nicely. We've got uh, test which is that word there which is going to be alt text and then this over here is the title. So we just go over to the preview again. It's going to mark down preview in Swiss and then scroll down. If I hover over this area you can see the hello world pops up and that's just the way it's supposed to work. That's cool. Let's go into this one here, System Preferences. And in System Preferences, I've got it set up so that with a exclamation mark followed by I. So just to show you how this one works from the System Preferences, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exclamation mark I, press Enter, then use the arrow key to go back in here and do Command and V and put in the URL for the image 
and that is back in business again that works okay shortcuts now with shortcuts i've got this set up where with the uh, control option and command plus the full stop let's just do that then so that's working it from the menu bar let's just uh, do command x to put it back in the clipboard again so let's just do the other way of doing it which is from the share sheet so what you need to do with this one is you need to select your url then go to the services menu and you do that by going right click on your mouse or trackpad and then go to the services menu to mark down image link and then do command v paste that over the top of what you've got selected and there we have it so that's done another way to do this is to do with within drafts within drafts we've got this action at the bottom here okay so what i've done is i've got it in the clipboard now i've got this text here what i want to do with this i want to select that i'm going to do click on this here and now it's worked out correct text expander one is pretty good as well so with the text, with the text expander i do semicolon semicolon i now i'm going to put in the alt text click on ok and that's put that in for me so that's working nicely let's do the better touch tool one as well so in better touch tool what we've got here is exclamation mark followed by the two square brackets and then i'm going to have a uh, open and close bracket and inside those open and close brackets i want to insert special and the insert special is going to be insert content from the clipboard so i do my uh, magic shortcuts key plus the equals key and let's put that in there just perfect as it's supposed to be or you can do it so that you have whatever is selected so let's go back into this one here better touch tool again and change that so instead of having this um, let's get rid of these here so i'm going to put in an open bracket and a closed bracket and inside there i want us to have it going into other currently selected text this is our url so what we're going to do this time is we're going to select the url we're not going to put it in clipboard this time so i've got that selected now I'm going to do my keyboard shortcut, which is my magic keyboard shortcut, which does all of those things there, plus the equals key, and job done. How about that then? That's quite good. I like that. So it's having to use the clipboard when you do it that way. So this is Dave Allen looking at a few different ways that you can use automation on your Mac to get things done. And you just have to choose which one you like the best. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.